We didn't hit triple digits, did we? But I'm sure it still felt like that. Definitely felt like that as the uh, humidity is really getting low, feeling more hot. But unfortunately, actually fortunately for us, the uh, triple digits we will be steering clear of for the week. Let's take a look at a live look at Tehachapi. Right now, things are looking really nice over there. A good 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we're seeing in the valley. That's right. They're staying in the mid to lower 80s there. Downtown Bakersfield can't complain. A gorgeous almost sunset there right now. Current conditions looking nice and warm as that humidity, Amanda, like we just said, is down 94 degrees right now. Look at that. Almost single digits as far as humidity goes. Not very good for fire season. 79 right now in Tehachapi, 65 in Breckenridge, and then 90 as we make our way over to the desert. Almost 100 right now in Ridgecrest as well as California City. 74 in Fraser Park. So we maxed out at 97 degrees, just a four degrees above average for this time of year. Really not too bad, and this trend will continue to stay, all thanks to a stable ridge of high pressure. But for the next couple days, we are tracking a nice little offshore breeze that will uh, definitely bring a nice breeze to the central coast. And then for our mountains and deserts here in Kern County. That means uh, wind gusts up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Not enough to put us in an advisory, but something to be aware of. Stable ridge of high pressure, though, from the four corners really uh, going to hit California. Actually, it almost already has, and we're going to see those upper 90s for the rest of the week. Labor Day weekend. It's here and uh, Labor Day is tomorrow and it looks really, really nice. 96 degrees for a high tomorrow as you whip out those grills around 7 o'clock at night tomorrow. We are going to see 90 degrees hot. Winds out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour. So here in the valley, we won't see much relief. But over in the mountains, things are going to look a lot cooler with that breeze. Air quality, though, is moderate, so that's good um, for us, not, not reaching that unhealthy for sensitive groups level despite our high pressure. And then if you're traveling for this weekend, we're going to see 100 in Sacramento, 83 in Lake, Ta Lake Tahoe, also 100 in Fresno. Along the central coast, look at that cool down, gorgeous. Upper 70s for Morro Bay and Pismo Beach, also Ventura. Mid 70s for Santa Barbara. And then in Southern California, nice and hot, 108 for a high in Palm Springs, 87 in Disneyland. Here along the valley floor, we're going to see very uh, stable conditions, a little bit above normal, upper 90s for uh, the valley, and then 84 into Hatchapi, 91 up in Kernville, over in our desert, nice and dry, very little humidity, upper 90s, overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s. For your seven-day numbers, there's that Labor Day forecast, it's 96, and then cooling down to the upper 60s at night. Uh, overnight lows in the 70s going to heat up to uh, overnight lows heating up to the 70s rather and then we're going to see nice and stable conditions in the upper 90s for the rest of the weekend into the weekend a slight warm up into Hatchapi mid 80s low 90s for the weekend with a warm up on Saturday and then overnight lows in the 60s finally in your Kern River Valley mid to lower 90s for the weekend 98 by Sunday so a nice warm up heading our way just in time for the weekend and to kick off that first uh, week of September I know overall a nice labor Day in store. Nice Labor Day. Enjoy Nothing we it. can't handle, right? No. <laughs> Especially not after the triple digits. Exactly. All right, get out there and enjoy it. Still ahead.